Market update here on the 6th. I'm getting this out really late. I've been traveling all day. I'm in Mexico right now, so just getting in. I uh, wanted to make a video after I, I did look at the charts. Um, if you want to watch it in the morning, that would be great to <clears throat> maybe get a feel of what's going on. But I my opinion has changed since yesterday. I thought we were still in a corrective move and there was a slim chance of getting a impulse move. That all changed today, in my opinion. I think what I said yesterday about this being a nested third wave is correct. So I'll show you why here in a second too, but I see this as one, two, one, two, three. If you look at the 1.61 fib, it's perfectly, we bounce for a fourth wave. And then we get one, two, three, four, five down here. I think that that's the bottom. Um, if we look at the total <clears throat> third wave, it takes it all the way down to actually the 3.61 fib. Very long third wave, but I think that is a third wave. So where are we expecting to bounce? And I'm actually kind of excited that we're finally potentially getting an impulse move because it's going to be a lot easier to trade than all those corrective moves. So the most likely place that we're going to go to, honestly, is probably only about 395.55 on a bounce. Um, could come all the way up to the 0.38 fib here at 398, but I think that it's more likely we hit 395. Um, we can zoom in a little bit and look at this current wave I didn't get a look at the chart till about 15 minutes ago but this right here looks like it is this looks like an impulse move so far so based on that I would expect us to go to about 395 ish something like that and based on that, that's a five-way move. Maybe we will go a little bit higher. Um, the 1.61 fib would take us all the way to about 397. That would be a good place for us to go, right in between the 0.23 and the 0.38 fibs. So fourth wave right here. And then we would get one more move down <clears throat> to... Three eighty-seven, potentially all the way down to three eighty-five. So, I think we're gonna go lower. If we go back down here, you'll see that maybe we're coming down here to fill this gap right here. So, look for three ninety-seven tomorrow, and then look for one more move down to about three eighty-five to three eighty-seven. And if you have bullish positions right now and you're in kind of a bind, then I would look for, wait for the bounce. If you don't get out tomorrow, I guess you probably get out tomorrow too. But if you don't get out tomorrow, then we can just give you a good idea where this is gonna go. So we go all the way down to 385. We'd be looking for a bounce back to a minimum of 397.50, probably back to 400. So <clears throat> basically it's gonna look like this. Just based on this, I can give a calculation of where we're going. One, let's just say 400. Two, put this up here. So two at 400, and then we're looking at probably in order to get down to our target, this third wave has got to be really explosive. I would say minimum 2.61 fib here at 343, potentially all the way down to 3.61 fib at 318. So we're not there yet, but based on what we're doing right now, 
this is going to go to a minimum of 343. That's a 2.61 fib. And then we would bounce to 356. And we would get down on the final wave. Three twenty-three to three fifteen. So, right around there, based on today's move, I can project three fifteen to three twenty-three. And also, I got to point out this too. I've been working on demand zones a little bit. <clears throat> the monthly demand zone is down here at three hundred six to two seventy-seven. So potentially, my projection isn't totally correct. It could still be one two, three, bounce, five, like that. So basically, what I'm saying is get ready for a crazy move lower, and it's gonna be one of those moves where it just keeps on going down. There's probably not gonna be a lot of bounces, and so you have a little bit more time. We're probably gonna hit 385 and then bounce back to 400. I'm expecting this to happen uh, this will happen probably by Thursday or Friday. I'm expecting this bounce to happen going into CPI probably or FOMC, one of the two. And then we're going to get a third wave down and uh, that's going to be the move that you want to catch. But you have a little bit more time if you are in bullish positions. So I can tell you also the dollar pretty much, in my opinion, solidified the bottom. So this ended up being three, four, five. And then you can look at this. <clears throat> we have one, two, three, three right here, I think, four. And we're working on the fifth wave. And so this works out perfectly. We're gonna get a second wave Wherever this ends up, we're going to get a second wave pullback to about 104.91 to 104.72. And that will coincide with SPY on its second wave. So based on the day, we've gone from 104 all the way to 105. The dollar is probably going to do the exact same thing as SPY. It's going to get a move that will take it probably, I don't even know, it could go way higher than this. In order to get to 120, we're going to need some crazy move. And I wouldn't be surprised there's something, it's got to be either rates or something else that's going to get us really going crazy. I don't know. I can't predict, obviously, black swan events. But maybe something that has to do with China, Taiwan. I don't know. But something's got to be coming to get us the dollar to go spike like that. Could just be Powell, but I'm not going to. I mean, he's doing 50 basis points. He's supposed to. What if he does 75 or full basis point? So we'll see. But you can see how the dollar appears that it is bottomed and it's starting a five wave move that will take it all the way up to. So we have one, two, three, four. We had to get above 114, targets 120. So you can see that they're trying to be sneaky with this. You got to watch it. Like, they're being sneaky on this. But it appears that we have bottomed. If it changes, then I will update you tomorrow. But it looks to me like one, two, three, starting the fourth wave. And, uh, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, and we're getting a fifth wave down here at 385. I'm just going to do a short video tonight. I'm not going to go over everything. It's kind of late, but uh, one more thing to look at. Let's look at the VIX. How much did that spike today? 22.16. It's not really that much. I would expect this to come up 
probably looking at maybe a little bit higher, maybe 22.78. And then we're going to get a pullback for the 400 move on SPY. So that's it for now. I'll put this video out. If you see in the morning, give you a little update of where we're at. Remember, expecting 395 to 397 tomorrow. And then a move down to 385, 387 to complete the overall first wave. Bounce to 398 to 400, potentially higher than that too. Going into CPI is my uh, base case. That's it. Uh, like and subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you tomorrow.